everyone's different. Everyone has a different path in life and everyone has a different personality. But there are things that everyone should be doing in their lives, they should have in their lives, or everyone should just be working towards these things in life. And I'm gonna tell you what they are in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So my channel is all about personal growth and I'm helping you through the journey of self-discovery in order to reach success and to create the life that you want. So today I'm gonna be talking about the things that everyone should be working towards in their life. I see a lot of people just going through life day by day, working, coming home, doing the regular things, you know, getting married, which is great. I'm just saying that that's just what's expected, right? Get married, you have kids, you buy a house, you work, and that's it, right? There's a lot of people that just go through life day by day just doing that. Um, there's people that have those things and do many others at the same time, which is great but I'm talking about those that just do that and don't really have anything else working in their lives, nothing else that they can look forward to. And these things are things that I feel like everyone should have in place in their lives. Number one, everyone should be working to find their purpose in life. So you can't just go through life and you know just do the day by day things and not really try to find what's your true purpose. I think you might be at a place right now where you think you're supposed to be there, but what if there's something greater to your life and you have to work to go and find it, but you're not because you're stuck or you're just in your comfort zone where it feels comfortable. I feel like everyone was placed on this earth for a reason. Everyone has a purpose and it's just sad to think that some people just live their lives and they don't really try to find that purpose. And so there's a meaning to your life. Go and find it. If, and once you find your purpose, that's gonna open the door to many opportunities you thought you never would have. Find your purpose in life because it can't just be to do the day-to-day -day things, the regular things in life. It can't just be that. There's a greater meaning to your life. You have to work towards it and you have to find it. Number two, everyone should be trying to be healthy. So there's a lot of people that don't feel like they have to work out. They don't really pay attention to that kind of you know life. They don't think that they have to exercise. I feel like the majority of those people just get overwhelmed with so many ways to be healthy, so many different diets and lifestyles, so many ways to work out, and they get overwhelmed with the people that are so up here that they only focus on that and they feel like that's the only way. You don't have to be obsessed with working out. You don't have to be obsessed with the gym. You don't have to become a professional. There's all kinds of eating lifestyles, vegetarians, vegans, pescatarians. I don't know, there's just so many. And if you're getting overwhelmed with all that, don't. Just focus on what you're capable of, what you can do, and try to be as healthy as possible. The main thing that I believe is the most important is just eating whole foods and eating organic foods. It, that's the way that I've chosen to live my life. So there's many ways and don't feel like you are tied to one. You just have to try to be as healthy as possible. I feel like everyone should be trying to be healthy. And that's something that's so self-explanatory but there's a lot of people going through life that maybe it's because they've never been exposed to that life. Maybe they're ignorant or maybe they just don't know. But I really am asking you to open your mind and do the research and then just choose a healthy lifestyle. Add more fruits in your day. Add more vegetables to your meals. It's, it just starts small and eventually it will work its way up to becoming a habit. Um, as long as you're staying active in any kind of way every day, that's enough. Everyone has a different kind of body and, and situation, obviously. But if you feel like you're neutral, and, but you can do better, you can be more active and more physically active, then do it. Do whatever it is that will help you get up to just start and then eventually the momentum will pick up and you will get where you need to be. Do the right research and start little and work your way up, challenge yourself so that then you can be the best that you can be. Number three is to grow in your company or wherever your, whatever your job is, grow in it. 
If you're an employee, work your way up to being a manager or a shift supervisor. If you're already a manager, work your way up to being working for corporate. If you're already in corporate, work up your way to owning your own business. Grow in life. And just because you feel like you're stuck, it doesn't mean that you need to be. And if you have a job that you've been with for many years, why stay where you are? Try to, if, if you feel like you're a good employee, fight for what you think you deserve and what you want in life. Yes, it's more responsibility, but that's life. The more you advance in life, the more things that will come to you that you have to handle. And that's actually good. That's a good thing. If you have no responsibilities, then many things are not in your control. And don't you want some things to be in your control? So grow wherever you are at in your work life. And just because you don't want to be where you are right now, maybe it's a job that you don't want to be in for the rest of your life, moving up in a job looks great for another job that you might want to apply for. So try it. Talk to people, network, show that you're a good employee, and ask for what you think you deserve. Number four, try to become debt free. I listened to Dave Ramsey. I don't know if you guys ever heard of him. He has a YouTube channel. I'll link it up in the description and I'll also link his book that I'm reading. Well, I've already read, but I read it. It's kind of like a guide, so I always have it with me. He is a great financial advisor. And of course, there's many financial advisors, but I just listened to him, so that's why I'm sharing him with you guys. But basically, there's something that he says and the way that he views money, I really admire. He says that in order to really live a good life and happy life, debt free, with, with nothing holding you back, you have to stop being normal. And what he calls normal is, you know, it's normal in our society to get credit cards. It's normal to buy a house and then get into debt buying that house. It's normal to buy the house with debt. And people continue their lives knowing that they have debt because they feel like, well, there's no way to... I just, I had to get into that debt. You know, I had to get credit cards. I had to get a house and all this stuff. And while that may be true in certain situations, there's a way to change your perspective on that so that you don't get trapped in that debt. Again, work on your relationship with money. Do you view money in a negative way? Or do you, or do you view it in a positive way? Do you have a good relationship with it? Are you on a budget? Are you budgeting month? I started monthly budgeting and it's an amazing thing to know exactly where your money goes, exactly how much money's coming in, exactly how much money's coming out, and you have way more control of it in that way. So are you, are you budgeting monthly? Are you spending your money wisely? Are you trying to put money aside to get rid of the debt or are you, you know, do you have a savings? Just try to be financially free, but I called it debt free because that's like my most important point here is to tr is to become debt free. That is something that is just so important and I highly recommend you to read his books and listen to him. Maybe I'll do a video on, you know, his book or something. Maybe I'll do a video just financial uh, like I'll just do a financial video. But basically my perspective has changed on money because of him. I have such a positive relationship with money now. That doesn't mean that I'm financially free yet, but I feel like I'm on that path already. So try to be financially free, debt free. Number five is to travel. I know that there's a lot of people that maybe don't care about traveling, but I feel like it's just because those people have not opened their minds to it. Maybe they don't see that there's a possible way to travel because they look at their finances and they think there's no way. And travel means just getting out and seeing something new. It does not have to be traveling to Europe, traveling to another country, you know, it, it just travel and get out there, experience new towns, new cities, new states, or new countries, um, new cultures, cultures that you've never been around, um, and learn, learn about history, learn about what's around you and just try, try to get out more. Try to make a trip here and there, whether it's a small trip or a big trip, it doesn't matter. It's just so therapeutical and it's just, it's life, life. You have to get out your doors. It, you have to get out of what you know and what you've always known in life. It doesn't have to require a lot of money. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why they close themselves off 
to traveling, but it doesn't have to be that way. There's always a way around things and there's always a way to customize it and make it your own, make the trip your own. There's always a way. So just try to get out and experience new places. Going back to the last one I just talked about, make a budget for trips and traveling monthly or yearly. Just make that budget and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to do it because it's all about controlling your money. It doesn't matter how much you make, it's about controlling it and knowing where it goes and deciding where to put it and where to take it out. It's all about, it's all in your control. Number six, share your message. Everyone has a message, everyone has an opinion and it's perfectly okay to share it. Now, obviously share it wisely. So, you know, you don't have to watch exactly what you say, but just try to spread it in a peaceful way. And if it's, even if it's not in a peaceful way and you're angry, that's okay too. Just make sure that whatever your message is, if you do want to spread it, and if you do want to let people know what your message is, make sure that at the end result of you spreading that message, there will be a positive result. Everyone has something that they're passionate about. Maybe it's something that you just know a lot of and just share it, it's okay. I, I have met so many people that are so wise and they don't share it. it you, have to, you have to sit down with them in their living room to get that wisdom out of them. A lot of people just live their lives and they don't share that wisdom that they have or whatever their passion is. So share your message. A lot of good things might come out of it. Maybe it'll make you stronger. Personally, it might help you and also bring you a lot of, a, a lot of other opportunities. It might make a change in the world, in your society. You never know, just share your message. Everyone has one. Look deep into your soul and find what that is. If you think that you don't have a message, trust me, you do. You have an opinion on something, you have a message, share it. Number seven, which is kind of like brings it all together, just advance in life. And I think that that's the main thing here. Don't stay stuck where you are. There's always a way to improve. There's always a way to grow, advance, advance in life is the way that I say it. Advance in your workplace, advance in your personal life, in your relationship, in your career, just advance in life. You will live with way less regrets if you live that way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I post three videos every week here on my channel. So if you're interested in that, consider hitting the post notification bell so that you're part of the family and so that you're notified every time that I upload a video. Other than that, I thank you guys so much for the support and I will see you in my next video.